Hey everybody, Achila here and today we are going to be talking about using useRef inside a React app with TypeScript. And the same way as before, I have here um, React application just created with Create React App, passing the TypeScript flag, you can see down below. And let's get started. This time we're going to create an audio player. So what is um, the ref for? The ref is when we have a reference that we want to be kept between different renderers. It's usually important when we want to imperatively touch a DOM element. So for example, in this case, we're going to be using the audio tag and we want to pass the controls to a different component in a different section of the tree. So by doing that, we need to pass the ref of that component down, both from the component when we are creating the instance of the tag element, and also on the actual component that's receiving it, we need to forward to the child of that component. So let's have a look. So our index CSS, and this time we're not going to be changing much. We're just going to be passing the display grid and placing all the items in the center, saying the height is going to be 100, 100 viewport height. And we are going to pass this nice plum color for our background. And with that done, we can go to our app TSX and we can take everything away. For now, it's only going to return an empty fragment. So now opening our source folder, I'm going to create two components in a components folder. One of them is the player TSX and the other one is the controls TSX. Now let's get started with the player. The player itself is actually a tricky component because it's going to be receiving a ref and it needs to, instead of using the ref, forward the ref to its child, which is going to be the HTML tag audio element. So we can store the ref onto that element. So to do that, we need to use uh, this React utility, which is called forward ref. So this means that once our components is uh, wrapped into this, it's going to actually take the ref that's been given and pass down to its child. So here's our component and our component is going to return this audio tag. So in here, the first elements are actually the props and the second element is actually the ref that's being forwarded. Okay, so the props are actually going to have the source, which in this case is going to be the source of our track and then the ref is going to be the ref. And for the ones of you that are not familiar with the audio tag, if we pass a text as a child of the HTML audio tag, it's going to be the fallback in case the browser does not support. So we are going to write this browser does not support the audio tag. And that's about it. We need now to export our player. And TypeScript's complaining a lot because nothing is actually typed yet. So let's go ahead and do this. So now we're going to set the player props type, which is going to be a string. And that's about it. And in our forward ref, we're going to say then, okay, so the first parameter is actually the ref, which is confusing because when we're talking about the JavaScript part, um, the function call is actually the first parameters are actually the props and the second is the ref. When we are talking about the type generic, it, the first parameter is actually the ref and the second one are the props. So that's it. Our player is completely typed. It's using the refs properly. Now we can go to our controls. And in our controls, we are going to create our controls component. And this controls component is going to be this arrow function that's going to be receiving this audio player 
which is actually the ref that we're being passing down to the other element into the, um, the audio tag. So in that case, this component is going to be able to access it and then to make mutations to it. So we have now we have to wrap this here to make sure that this is not no and that the audio player current which is actually the ref that we we want is actually defined and then we can say okay audio player current which is our html tag and then this is a part of the html tag uh, properties and then we're going to say yep so the time it's always in seconds so we're going to return the current time plus 10 seconds in this case and that's the callback that we want and now we can return the controls and we're going to just set a div and the button and this button is going to have this on click that takes nothing because we're not even going to use the event and we're just calling jump 10 seconds and that's great I forgot to export it and if you come here you're going to see that it's an any and everything's an any and that's annoying so let's create our type control props and this control props is going to have the audio player and the audio player is actually a ref object that's going to be imported from react and this ref object as you can see it's already complaining that I didn't pass any parameters so I need to pass to the generic something at least so it's going to be an HTML audio element or no and the reason why we're passing no is because we are initializing our, um, we're going to initialize, it's a good practice to do that when the reference null basically as a default value as, uh, so in the first render we have something and we can um, address this case. So that's why we're checking for null. So if we try to access this before the render reaches and before our uh, reference is defined, then nothing breaks. Um, so everything is ready so now let's go back to our app finally and now we're going to import the player from components player and we're also going to import our controls from our controls and now here we go the moment we can we were waiting for we have the ref here, oh yeah, and I, so we are going to say, okay, the audio player is actually, I use ref, and this is going to, the default is going to be no, and as you can see, I'm going to pass this here and here, and this is going to always be no because we didn't say in this case that it can be an audio element or no. So this is properly typed now. And it cannot resolve. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say it. They come from here and from here. And now if I don't type it, you're going to see that it's going to complain quite a lot um, because it cannot be always just no. So we're passing properly. And now I need to add the source. So there's nothing here because I don't have an audio element. So let's do this. Uh, let's create our track URL here. And there we go. So you don't need to actually listen to the song because you're going to be able to see here in the controls. So I didn't add the song so uh, to the project. So let me do that right now real quick. 
I'm going to add to the public because it's been coming from the root. And da -da -da. so now you can see that once we play, we can jump 10 seconds and then jump again. So here we go, our ref is working. Everything is set up pretty nicely. And I'll link down below the gist of this code and feel free to use it. And that's it. I'll see you all on the next one. Ciao.